Renaissance historians have described Italy as rich, divided, and weak. Federico Fellini described Italy as macabre, grotesque, and a combination of a football game and a brothel. My friend Peter Munch of Bad Homburg, Germany, described Italy as an idea yet to be manifest. It is chaotic. Italian chaos pervades all walks of life. Geographically, it sticks out like a giant leg and foot, with Sicily as its football. In the north, it's bordered by the Alps and divided down its length by a chain of mountains. Historically, from its earliest beginnings, say of the 7th century BC, invading tribes established footholds, bringing with them 25 different languages. No wonder the Italians have learned to use their hands to communicate, linguistically, from the classical Dante of Firenze to the chopped final vowels of Sicilians. Finally, politically, from the rise of the rivalry between the city-states and the papal state, and the various kingdoms, dukedoms, and dictators, all the way to the present, where there are over 200 political parties. Adding to this hysterical, historical chaos is the economic disparity of the rich industrial north versus the poor agricultural south. All this feeds into the need for the Neapolitan Camorra and the Sicilian Mafia and, perforce, requires four levels of police. La Polizia, or Federal Police, with its visible subdivision La Stradale, or Highway Patrol. La Polizia Municipale, with its subdivision Vigili Urbani, the white pith-helmeted foreign language-speaking ones you see in Roma and other major cities. Guardia di Finanza, and finally the military police, or Carabinieri, who don't speak Italian, but only Carabinieri. To seemingly keep everything and everyone in its place is the Vatican. That chance. Even they have their inner machinations, but that's for another time. Bureaucracy is a way of life in Italy, made especially more so by its chronic socialism. An American worker in Rome, for instance, rents an apartment at a higher cost than an Italian. In order to establish legal residency, he must find a legal resident who will allow him to use his legal residence address as the American's illegal legal address. The American fills out a form and supplies a garbage certificate proving that the garbage tax has been paid. If the basic form is not filled out perfectly, the officials tear it up and he must start all over again. The American is now a legal Roman resident at an address which is illegal because his legal address is also illegal. It's insanity! So why do I love Italy and the Italians? Is it the towns and cities? Old and new? Why, yes! Is it the art? and culture. Why, yes! Is it the fabulous food and wine? Why, yes! Is it the beautiful women? Of course! It's their ability to laugh at themselves while enjoying all of the above. Of course it is! The wonders of Italy are yours to enjoy everywhere.